Okay, to get started with using Microsoft Teams, you're going to want to go to the Waffle inside of your Office 365 account, which you can access through My Backpack. So I'm going to go here to the apps and notice Teams is one of the apps. So when I select Teams, it's going to take me to this home page here for Teams. In the upper right hand corner where it says join or create a team, this is where we're going to create a team for your class. So I'm going to click create a team and it asks you, do I want to create a team or join a team with a code? So for the purpose of this, we're creating a team for your class. We're going to select create a team. You're going to choose what type of team this is. Is it a class, professional learning community or PLC, staff or other for like clubs or groups or other activities. So for the purpose of distance learning, you're creating one for class. We're going to select class. You're going to want to give your team a name. So whether it's your first period, second period, so forth, ELA, your name. or So I'm going to call this my ETS demo distance. Um, I can give a description and so forth if I'd like. They also have a team template. We're just going to go with this and create our team. Next up, it's going to ask you to search for your students. And so just as if when you're creating a OneNote notebook, you're going to search for students by first and last name. So you're going to start typing a name and notice it's going to search for, I started with the first name. It's going to search for that student and it's going to give the student ID as well as their grade level. So I'm going to select this one student and you would do that with for multiple students. You want to add in each of your students individually. So just verify their names and their student number in Infinite Campus in order to add them. I can then go in and add teachers as well if I want to add this as a co-teacher or your administrator. Okay, so as you'll notice, it gives me my class name here, ETS Demo distance learning and has general information so I can upload my class materials which is great here I can find some help and training so you'll notice that it actually has a built-in chat feature so from here I can go in and I can text messages I can uh, attach resources they've got emojis gifts and so forth appropriate ones for class stickers here's what's great is their um, meet feature inside of teams Similar to Google Meet, and this is your video streaming option. I can choose to select this and it will ask me to add a subject so I can choose to meet now. I can turn my camera on or off or I can schedule a meeting so I can actually have this be in class session. Additionally, I can go to here to the more feature and notice some other things that I can share. Now I can go and see the posts that I've made files that I've shared, the class notebook that is aligned with this resource, uh, any assignments that I've shared, will be available here. I can add additional tabs if I'd like. So as you can see, it's very easy to set up your Microsoft's team. Uh, you can go back to all of your teams and find them. You can customize them. Uh, this was my first demo and I customized it with, of course, a little William Shakespeare. I can go to the three dots here for more information. And this is where I can manage my team, add some channels, leave it, edit, and so forth. I choose to edit it. So when I choose to edit it, I can give some information, grade level, subject, primary, secondary, other, and I can choose an avatar that's appropriate for your class. So that's how you get started with Microsoft Teams and how you add your students. Let me know if you have any questions.